Hey guys, it's Dan at Gretna Glen here. I'm so excited I get to spend a little bit of virtual time with my Camp Can Do family. I am standing in a creek. You can see my feet in the water. I am ready to do a little creek stomp with you guys. So um, we're gonna see if we can find any critters in this stream. It's a beautiful day. Um, I'm gonna do a little hunting, so bear with me. It doesn't always happen right away, but I think we're gonna find some cool stuff. Forgive me while I jostle the camera into position pick up the net and let's find us some critters. So this is a part of the creek down by the challenge course. This is where we're at. And if I kneel down here, I might be able to see some cool bugs. And the hard thing about finding macroinvertebrates is that you don't always see it right away. You've got to dig around in the muck and the mud and pay close attention so you can see right in front of me here this net and i'm looking for anything that moves on my net right now i can't see any movement so let's just keep going i'm going to dig around a little bit more maybe a little higher up here Oh, I got, look at this, look at this movement. See those little jumpers around? These are water striders. And they're definitely, oh, that guy didn't want to stick around too long. But they're definitely macroinvertebrates, okay? And water striders are really common, and they actually glide along the surface of the water. Pretty cool bug. So I'm going to shoot them back in, give them a chance to go back home now. But that's a good sign that we're finding some critters finding some motion. So now I'm gonna stir up some trouble for my critters here. See if there's anything hiding in these rocks that I can look for. Beautiful, look at this guy. This is a true beauty here. And he doesn't want to climb onto my finger, but there we go. Can you guys see that? Can we see this thing? It looks like a stick, but it is in fact a little bug. And I can see when I'm identifying these things, I don't just know what it is unless I take my time and I learn over the period of time with some identification charts. So if I was using an ID chart, I would look down and I'd see this has three pairs of legs. I can see it has one obvious tail that might actually be a few tails, but together. Um, it makes for a few tails and I can see its structure it has like this stone like body and I know from previous experience that this is a stone fly nymph and so a nymph will live in the nymph stage for a, a long time sometimes years um, and then it will eventually become a stone fly stone flies are a, a really special bug that fly fishermen use um, they make they mimic the look of a stone fly to use that to catch big fish so stone flies are really common um, but they're also a little bit sensitive they're pollution sensitive so that he is in here is a good sign it means our water is nice and clean there's a stone fly nymph all right i'm going to put him back oh, <laughs> he didn't want to go see him he spread out now we can see all three tails because he was a little less stressed and he spread his three tails out but he tried to hide on my finger like it was a rock. Let's see if I can get him to go off the finger. Now he's back, okay, good. All right, let's see, was there anything else in this pile of stones here? That was a good find, that stonefly nymph. Okay, so, so far we've got stonefly nymph. We've got water striders. Let's see, am I gonna get lucky and find us a crayfish tonight, today? I'm not sure, let's keep looking. Sometimes it's a matter of agitating up the environment a little bit and causing some disarray. 
and then maybe you'll find some critters that would otherwise stay pretty hidden. Not, not lucking out right there though, so we'll keep on going. I do suggest water shoes if you're not used to doing this. If you go out in your own town, water shoes can be really good just to keep you from hurting your feet too much while you, you walk around. I do this often enough that I've kind of developed a little resistance to the rocks, but sometimes it's not so cozy to walk around in a stream. Okay, I like piles of sticks and mud because oftentimes they make for really good habitats. And then sometimes they make for really stinky mud piles. That one was pretty stinky. <clears throat> A benefit of virtual is you didn't have to smell that stinky rotten mud pile I just had. Oof. Okay, it's not a macroinvertebrate, but it's pretty cool, so we're going to look at it. I see a little minnow here. Can you guys see that? It's flopping around, so I want to get it back in the water pretty fast. But this minnow most likely is a smallmouth or largemouth bass. Um, I'm not great at identifying minnows, but it's cool to see it. Oh, it said, nope, I'm out of here. Goodbye. That's fair. That's fair. It's not great for him to be out for too long, so he wanted to... Preserve that life. I'm all about it. Whoa. Okay, this guy's a little more exciting. He's a more legitimate smallmouth bass. You saw him for a second, and then again, he hopped out pretty fast. Good on him. Okay, let's see what's this here. No, nothing. One thing I'd love to find for you is either a crayfish or a caddisfly. Caddisflies are super cool. They're these bugs that create their own home and they carry it around with them as they go. Right here on this rock I can see another stonefly nymph, a little much smaller one, crawling around. But there you see him moving, that's another stonefly nymph. Pretty neat, we would miss him if we weren't looking really closely at what's all around us. I just missed, I just saw a crayfish come flying across the scene here, but he was too fast for me. I couldn't get him. Look at this guy. Pretty gnarly looking, right? Check him out. Oh, this is a good spot right here because we not found not just one, but two critters right here. So this guy looks like a big old worm. 
you can see he's got these brushes on the front of his head right so this is a crane fly larva and crane flies look like those huge gigantic um, mosquitoes you see them you think oh my gosh that's the biggest mosquito ever right but this is a crane fly and the funny thing is they actually eat mosquitoes so he's kind of good to have around um, a neat bug I'm gonna put him home now because we got to see him and then this thing right here is my absolute favorite I was saying it earlier but does it look like a bunch of little sticks it should look like a bunch of little sticks I'm gonna set it down for just a second and I want to direct your attention to my foot right there because there is a there's a crayfish pinching my leg pinching my toes because it doesn't realize that I'm a person and so I'm gonna see if I can catch it here unawares there I did it was trying to dig into my toe and see if it was <laughs> if it could get some food out of me but there it is that's one of the guys I've been looking for a crayfish or crawdad so let's pick him up he's gonna hold on to my net pretty good and that's okay but it looks like a little lobster doesn't it can you see it real close there looks like a little lobster and uh, it's got those red tips on its on its hands and he just walked right up to me and started pinching my toes and I thought well that's perfect timing I'm gonna take advantage of that this guy would be on the bottom of the food chain in here because these little crawdads just like wolves have a hierarchy so wolves have a hierarchy so do craw crayfish crawdads um, they're kind of neat little critters and they get up to be six inches long maybe uh, maybe a little bit longer and so that's a real big one this one is probably bottom of the pack it's not the smallest one I've ever seen but it's definitely uh, a little guy so you can see there he's kind of fanning out his his tail he uses that tail to swim so you'll see he kind of moves backwards um, and this is again a macroinvertebrate but also a crustacean and they are in almost every stream in Pennsylvania and we're gonna say goodbye now he hit it he hit under that rock right there pretty cool okay now back to this thing I was saying this guy is a caddisfly larva and caddisfly larvae are super cool. You can see it looks like just a bunch of sticks, right? But in fact, this is a bug that has used a special saliva-like substance to create a home for itself. And it drags this home around. Uh, and the home is made out of sticks and pieces of leaves and seeds and rocks. And uh, this caddisfly larva drags this home all over the place with it and it's perfect camouflage because if you didn't know what you were looking for you would miss it completely right pretty cool bug now if i keep it in my hand long enough it might start crawling around there it goes now we can see what i'm talking about you see that moving around that is the caddisfly larva whoop i just shocked him he rolled rolled himself off but he'll start to come back back out and drag himself around now. He's feeling out. I can see those little tentacles. Kind of a wormy looking thing. And caddisflies are kind of a gross looking bug when they actually do come out. But there he goes. He's dragging himself around my hand now. Because he kind of wants to go back in the water. But he's doing exactly what I hoped he would. He is just meandering about. Checking out his surroundings. A really cool bug. There's actually a French artist that put a bunch of these in with a bunch of uh, pearls and gold flake and really nice jewelry. And then the caddisflies made themselves homes out of pearls and jewelry. It was super cool. You should look that up. French artist caddisfly. Pretty neat to see. So there he is. One of my favorites. Super cool. Super camouflaged. Gotta look pretty hard to find him, but you might luck out in your local stream if you find a caddisfly. So let's let him go right back to where he came from. <clears throat> All right, well, that was a pretty good spot, guys. I don't know that we're going to do much better, and you've already been with me for a while. So I want to say thanks before I leave you. I'm going to challenge you to guess what those tracks are from. What these are from, take three guesses. Establish with somebody near you what you think it is. Dan's going to tell you in five, four, three, 
two, one. If you guessed raccoon tracks, you are 100% correct. A cool way to end our little uh, hike here. Thanks so much for hanging out with me, for enjoying the stream. One of my favorite things to do. I really appreciate you hanging out, and I hope you're having an awesome week. Talk to you guys soon.